film a day in the life of a van life. And then this happened. The weather is, um, what can I say the word shit? Basically, it's really bad. It's raining. It's cold. It's dark. It's cloudy. And then I thought, well, you know, why don't I just go ahead and film it anyway and see what a day really, really is like. And, you know, we start with shitty weather. Maybe it gets better if we drive away or maybe it doesn't. Come and join me for 24 hours in a van. It's my life. Okay, uh, nope, that's wrong way around. Uh. There you go. Uh. Oh, yeah, my top off roof, or my pop off roof even, um, I can't get it up today because it is rainy. It's really, really bad weather. And, uh, since it's of the cheaper variety, um, I can't pop it up when it's raining, so it's not rain resistant. It's grey, it's damp, it's wet. And yesterday, which is really, really the annoying bit, yesterday when I arrived here, it was actually... Oh, good morning, by the way. It was really, really nice, and um, I just parked the van, um, had found this nice location by the water, um, little harbour here and um, I just walked into the little village and they had a um, well a street fair really it was lovely <laughs> and it was beautiful and the weather was nice everybody was laughing it was fun everybody was happy and then overnight this happened and uh, I think that's just been our summer 2024 really one day it's really really nice and the next day it's really really bad so, uh, my day-to-day -day routine, just a day in a life of a van lifer. I usually get up, uh, make my bed, which I've already done. Oh, sorry, you're seeing my boxer shorts here. I used to sleep in the nude. And uh, since I'm living in a van, I don't dare to do that anymore. So I always wear something just in case you have that tap on the door or you have to, um, you know, do an emergency evacuation that you're not completely stuck because naked. So, so that's why I've got uh, my boxer shorts here. Anyway, so I usually make my bed and then I'm trying to live a healthy lifestyle, remember? And I read somewhere that although I drink coffee throughout the day, and I used to also drink coffee first thing in the morning. Now, I've read that because of the cortisol levels, um, that it's not really, really healthy to drink coffee straight away. You first let your body, you know, produce its own cortisol so that it can wake up properly by itself and then afterwards you can add in the caffeine to actually get that kick or you know wake up a bit more so um so what i do nowadays is i go for a brisk walk in the morning and then when i get back i treat myself to my first uh, coffee so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna have a wonder i'll take you with me uh, you'll see it's a lovely place the weather's just not fine and then we'll have a coffee.
biggest planner. I usually have like a vague idea of what I want to do, like the Scandinavia tour. Um, so the only thing I know is I need to go up, I need to go north, and the first uh, town that I encounter after this village here is Flensburg. Now Flensburg is a weird place because actually it used to be Denmark, and then it used, didn't used to be Denmark, and then it was Germany again and then it was Denmark again so it's kind of got an interesting history if I understand it correctly basically there's been fighting going on between Denmark and Germany about this 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 area this region north of uh, Germany south of Denmark um, that in the end the Danes just gave up and sort of said you know what after World War II we don't want to you know fight this again you have it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I might have misunderstood that, but that's how I got the story. So it's like, basically, the Danes gave up and it now belongs to Germany, although half the words probably are still in Danish. Um, so I'm keen to find out what it's like. Again, it's a little harbour, it's a fisher's village, and um, it's supposed to be really nice. So, you know, that'll be once I've got the coffee done, that'll be my uh, my destination for today because I hope it's going to be nicer weather over there. Cross our fingers. Well, I think it was worth uh, driving the 200 kilometers. Yay, sun again! Okay, so it is a parking lot, but it is in the middle of Flensburg and I can walk towards the city center in five minutes, apparently. So let's go to the little harbor first and uh, get my bearings and then uh, see how the rest of the day evolves.
Okay, so uh, quickly back to the van because there's a gym in town and as the running joke goes with my friends, the longest relationship I have had is with Jim. Not the guy called Jim, but you know, the fitness studio. So a uh, perfect opportunity for me to charge my phone, go online, have a workout, have a warm shower, and uh, maybe talk to a couple of the locals to see what else I should be doing here. So, you know, let's go get everything ready. Everything, I think got everything. There you go. Whoa.
And after a, a good workout, uh, it's time for food. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've just um, been letting myself down with the food recently. I've just been eating cakes and pastries and uh, everything that's not really healthy. And I keep on telling people, younger people, you can't out train a bad diet. And what am I doing? Having a bad diet. So today I went to the supermarket and made myself a salad. A salad with lots of chicken, some eggs and uh, some vegetables. So that should hopefully do the trick. Now, not just for once, I need to keep on doing this stuff. Hey, what time is now? Time for coffee. Let's go and get some.
Now, trust me, of course, not all van life days are like today, where I wake up in a different village, then drive 200 kilometers, explore the harbor, go to the gym, have my coffee, wander a bit more, do a bit of shopping, do a bit of eating, do a bit of cooking. Um, my life isn't always like that, trust me. I think my old bones wouldn't take it. <laughs> that much longer so i am showing you a jam-packed day let's be honest about that so i am now there's a bench over there i'm gonna just sit on it for a while and just uh, just rest for a bit and then uh, then i'll pick up uh, the pace and uh, we will we'll, i mean there's a lot to see in flatsburg let's be honest i wasn't expecting this so and i want to show everything to you so there you go um so let me have a sit collect my thoughts, collect my energy, and then uh, we're ready to go again. Whenever I visit towns like these, there's always so much that I want to explore and see and experience. And then I always want to share that with you. And I, I, I film really tons of footage, but then I don't want to bore you with just like clips of, uh, you know, like buildings or people or whatever. So I, I make an edit and in the end, you know, my tons of footage turns into like a three minute clip so um, just be assured that I, I take quite a lot and I see quite a lot and you only get to see a snippet of it so uh, whatever I'm showing you I hope I hope you enjoy what I'm, I'm taping for you or what I picked to show you so if the Germans are good at one thing it's definitely their bread so um, I just bought a really nice sourdough bread well when i say i bought it um, as you can see i've already eaten half of it but it's so delicious so that together with uh let me get some meat as well the meat is i don't even know how to pronounce that really bressaola i think it's italian ham and it's uh, bloody delicious that together with Okay, bang goes my my bang goes my um, diet again, but it's good old French butter. So that'll be my dinner for tonight. Really looking forward to that because, um, well, it's three things I really really like: bread, butter, and meat. It's probably the three things I shouldn't be having, but hey, it's been a busy day. I've burned a lot of calories, I'm sure. So um, this is gonna be dinner. Okay, let's put the mobile phone away for a second. Uh, as we say in Germany, guten Appetit, bon Appetit. I have no idea how to say it in Danish, but I'm sure nobody can pronounce it. Chin chin. Ah.
And of course, these uh, YouTube movies or videos don't make themselves. I have to work hard at them. I'm still a newbie and I am also a bit of a perfectionist. So um, every evening after dinner, I upload all the material that I've shot on my mobile phone to my computer so that I've got a backup. And then I gradually start with the edit. Even though this looks like a 24 hour day, it will take me a week to edit this stuff, believe it or not. <sighs> Done for today. <sighs> oh. So, uh, after a long day, after a lot of uh, editing for YouTube, I watch a couple of uh, YouTube channels as well. I follow a couple of fan lifers online as well, of course. And then, um, before I turn in, I put on my blue light blockers and I um, I spend half an hour on Twitter. I know I shouldn't because it just boils my blood sometimes, but it is kind of entertaining as well and it keeps me posted on what's happening in the world, or at least what what people are saying is happening in the world because sometimes living in a van you know not watching the news every hour on the hour you sometimes forget there's wars out there there's uh, there's stuff going on out there and um, twitter has always got a lovely perspective on it anyway enough it's been 24 hours with me and dean the van and i hope you enjoyed my day and um Tune in next week. I'm sure I'll, I'll get up to something again. Take care for now. Bye.